in. Um, as you can see, this is going to be C sec. Some past questions I know oils, CFC oils in Jamaica started July 1st and it goes until the 15th. So maybe some persons who are watching would have done theirs already. But for the most part, um, most persons would be having theirs this week. So I just wanted to stop by and give you some encouragement first and foremost because I know that you might be nervous and that's natural it means that your nervous system is working so I just want to encourage you you've been preparing for this from grade 7 or some persons may have started doing Spanish in grade 9 but you have been preparing for this another thing that I want you to know and I think you already know but just to remind you is that the examiner is somebody is a teacher for the most part from another school so for example tomorrow I'm going to be assessing some students from another school not my school but from another school now the aim all oh, just brown the aim is not for you to fail the aim is for you to do well so all you need to do is go there tomorrow or whichever day you have the exam put it put the date that you have the exam in the comment section below and let me know when i start this um i'm gonna try looking i'm i have some of the questions on this phone so i'll be looking at this phone i was trying to do it on my laptop but it wasn't loading so i'm using my phone and then i had to put my phone on an old laptop that i have so it stand up but all right so um it's not too late it's sunday that means nobody has the exam today so if you have thrown in the towel and you're like no i can't do it or you're seeing you're thinking about it it's gonna be approximately 10 to 15 minutes you don't have any situations i've already done a CXC update video but just a reminder there are no oral situations on paper two which is a written paper you will have situations but for your oral exams you're only reading and you're also having a conversation with the examiner so just be on time make sure you check the time that you have the exam be on time do what you've been preparing for all this time and it will be okay so if you feel just brown tomorrow so tomorrow you will do um you'll do awesome i believe it and you see your mind your mind is powerful also so if you go in there telling yourself you can't do it then you have already set up yourself to fail but because you know that you can do it you know you've been practicing um do what you have to do all right so i see queen b says that she has exam on july 9th Rakish, when I start this, some persons have okay. Rakish is saying, When I swear to, yes, when I swear to, but luck is important, but it's also important for you to put in the work. So, what I want you to do is, even if you have sat down for a while, or you were sitting down and you were saying, uh, Maybe I can't do it. Now, is what time is it to be exact in Jamaica? It's 12 31, which means that even if your exam is tomorrow you have a nice um at least because you want to sleep too but at least say eight more hours which you can read over get some vocabulary don't swamp yourself and don't um don't feel like you can't do it no remember mistakes are a part of learning and i say that to my students all the time and especially when you get the time after csec you can read up on growth mindset and you can do anything that you put your mind to anything that you tell yourself that you can do you can do it and also anything that you tell yourself that you cannot do you will not be able to do it because you don't believe it so today before i even go into the questions i want you to first believe in yourself you you're signed for csec remember that the teacher had a choice they could say oh i'm not sending up this child for csec so the mere fact that you have an exam tomorrow means that you are on your way it means that somebody saw you and said i think that this person will do well in spanish and so that's the first thing now after that 
sometimes I find that some person, because they're signed, they're just throwing the towel. No. And I'm saying it is not too late. If you've had something that you need to read over, your teacher gave you some sample questions and you didn't do it, now is the time. It is not too late. And also, while I'm telling you to study, I'm sure you study, but I don't ever want you to get to a point where you feel frustrated. And, and, and the language is so, 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 especially Spanish. I love, love, love Spanish. But I'm going to give you a quick story before I go in. And that's my story. That's just a, I'm just going to give you a small part of my story. Because if I give you all my story, we'll be here for a while. But I just wanted to tell you that I didn't start out doing well in Spanish. As a matter of fact, I should have taken it up before. But I'm going to do another one where I do the complete story. I got a D in grade 7 for Spanish and my report. I found it recently. Grade 8, I didn't do well. Grade 9, uh -huh, it was okay, but not well. It was in grade 10 that I got my, my Spanish teacher taught me. Um, she taught me, I would want to say, almost everything I should have known from 7 to 9 plus grade 10. And then I, I had to put in the work. So you have a part to play. The teacher have a part to play and you have an integral role to play also. And so, when I did CXC, I got a 2. No, I know that everybody on this live and everybody who's going to watch it, because you've been preparing for so long, you're going to get a 1. But I'm trying to say to you that I know yo hablo español, yo puedo hablar, entender todo en español. A lot of, I can understand Spanish and I speak Spanish and I'm still learning. Again, as I said, it is a process. However, when I when I went to and, and and let me know if this happens to you too. When I was um reading, so we you know we get the paper, we have the paper, and you're supposed to read approximately 130 words. Now when I was reading, I start reading. I didn't stop, no full stop, nothing because I just want. Uh, so when you're in the exam, there's this feeling that happens sometimes for some persons where you feel like you're going too slow, so you start going too fast. Or you just want to be at the end of it, so you're hurrying, you're hurrying. And that happened to me. And so I didn't stop at any full stop, any comma, nothing. And this is what I want to remind you tomorrow. You've been reading, you've been preparing, just read. Um, remember where you see your full stops, observe them. Whenever you're listing something, it would be, if you see a list, if you see comma, like they're listing um, some items. So they say arroz. Pollo. It would be nice also if while you're reading, if it's not too much, you can sound like you're listing the thing. So it says, yo, cada día yo como arroz, pollo, jugo de naran. And you realize it sounds as if you, you are sure about what you're saying. Because sometimes in the reading, you're not going to understand everything. But there are some words that we must group together. So bear that in mind. You must observe your full stops. You must observe your commas. If it's a question, make it sound like a question. Read with understanding. And also in a conversation tomorrow or whichever day you have the exam, listen. Because sometimes we would have heard a question before, but because we have the where they're like yes i know that the person said don't they ah you start answering no listen first to the question even if you think you've heard the question before ensure that you listen to the question and then answer again the examiner is a teacher more than like is a teacher from another school hence it's just like my students another teacher from another school will come and, and examine them and I am a teacher and I'll go to another school and examine them. So bear that in mind. So um, don't, don't worry too much about what the examiner is doing. I remember one year I had a student who said, Oh, but I saw the lady writing, so I thought I, was doing, I wasn't doing well. And then um, that threw her off because she's not focused on the matter at hand. She's trying to see what's happening over there. So go there tomorrow. You have been prepared. You have been doing well. And the beautiful thing is the Ministry of Education has some uh, webinars going on. So if you have not joined one yet, um, I think the next one is Tuesday. I will post the link. It's on Zoom. 
but if there is anybody on the live that would want previous ones you could let me know because horror points and everything hola um so shaw i see you hola just brown rakish robinson and um yes so ensure that you just go there and do your best do not um just think about something that makes you happy too and don't um overthink it it's easier said than done but again i i keep saying that the examiner and I, and I, you might say she keeps saying it all the time but i just want to reinforce it that it's another teacher it is somebody for them for the most part these are persons who have learned the language too so for me i remember when i was at your your stage or maybe you're even at a better stage than where i was because as i said is the grace of god why i got a two in spanish and i guess god wanted me to teach spanish so yeah but just to remind you that the persons who are examining you were at some point in time at the same place that you are at so even in english remember that we were born we couldn't speak and so over a period of time we'd have learned to speak so just put one foot in front of the other and just go there tomorrow or whichever day until the 15th that you have the exam and do well now because we cannot speak um you i can't bring anybody online right now i'm gonna ask a question and you're gonna write your answer in the chat and again mistakes are a part of learning so i don't want you to get just sit there and say i'm not going to comment i don't want anybody to say i don't know what i'm saying no the only way we can know if you know is by um hearing your answers and i say to my students all the time you better you're wrong and strong i don't want them to be wrong but i'm just saying say whatever it is that you're doing with confidence all right i don't know if you've ever heard some people speak and if you didn't know it the confidence that they used you're like hmm, i wonder if that's correct all right so we're gonna start with some questions um i'm gonna do we have no situations but for the orals so i'm gonna ask some other questions so vamos momento all right so this one is shopping so the topic is shopping cuánto dinero recibes a la semana cuánto dinero recibes a la semana so you're gonna go ahead and you are going to answer that question so put your answers in the chat let me see what you come up with vamos let's see what your answer is okay i see where somebody says i would like the previous ones okay um on instagram just send me oh hold on send me a message on instagram and i will instagram is espanol in jamaica and i will send you the the, the information um Okay, I just saw an answer. Somebody said, Yo recibo cinco dinero cada semana. Okay, so you want to put some money with that. So you, you want to say, I get five dollars? You'd have to say, Yo recibo cinco dólares cada semana. So you left out um, the dólares. So change the dinero to dólares. Yo recibo cinco dólares cada semana. Or you receive diez dollars, or you receive veinte dollars cada semana. You receive veinticinco dollars. So we want to change dineros to dollars. So recibo. I'm trying to see how I can write in the comments, but this thing won't let me be great. 
hold on wait okay so um i'm seeing rush fish just change dineros to dollars please por favor okay próxima pregunta Como gastas este dinero? And I'm going to do it twice, but um, in the exam, it's usually once, unless you ask the examiner to repeat. Como gastas este dinero? Let me see your answers. Las respuestas, por favor. ¿Quién va a contestar? ¿Quién va a contestar? Yo compro ropa y comida. Muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien. Ok. Vamos a continuar. ¿Dónde haces tu Another answer. Usualmente gasto mis dólares por zapatos. Rest fish. Um, you could say, usualmente compro zapatos. Okay. ¿Dónde haces tus compras? So again, when you hear the question, it says, ¿dónde? Which means that it's asking you to give a location. That is important. When you're listening to the questions, you want to know what is it asking you to tell where, to say why, to say how, to say when. So bear that in mind. So, let me hear your answers or let me see your answers. Word for word. Who is going to answer that one? Quien va a contestar? And thank you, Resh Fish and uh, Just Brown. Let me see who else has given me a response. Okay. See. Okay. Mi pregunta es, the question is, ¿Dónde haces tus compras? Yo hago mis compras en la supermercado. Okay. Is um, I see little little H just um. It's el supermercado, so el supermercado, la farmacia y mi escuela. Muy bien. So just change that to el supermercado. And also on this channel, I do have a video call entitled Los Lugares en la Comunidad. So I have supermercado, el baño. Farmacia, la librería, un poco de todo, el herrería, so re, el restaurante, um, so you can check it out. Um, and I do have a CXC playlist on this channel also, so that's something you can check out to get some practice. And not just the playlist, because I, I have them from grade, so grade 7, grade 8, grade 9. Okay, seguimos. Muy bien. So, yo compro, so you could say, yo compro, I buy, and list some items that you buy. But in this case, it says, donde. So, you would say, where you buy. En el supermercado, o en, if you're in, if you know Panama, en Albrook Mall, lo que sea. Con quien vas de compras? Con quien vas de compras? Por qué? Go ahead. Let me see your answers. Por favor. Las respuestas, por favor. Also, well, I'm not going to tell you just yet.
would you like me to do another one of this li these lives just let me know too and um i want to do a phone card giveaway um compro okay comp ago mis compras en la zapateria um next one compro con mi mama or boy the compras con mi mama so i go shopping boy the compras con mi mama or boy the compras en la zapateria Okay, your boy, de compras. Usually when you're talking about shopping, it's boy de and not a. Boy de compras. So I go shopping. Boy de compras. Oh, in this case, you're saying your boy a comprar con mi mamá y mi hermano. But you're saying I'm going to ba go buy with my mother and my bro sister, sorry, hermana. But what we want to say is, I go shopping. So, boy, the compras. V O Y, the compras. Con mi mamá. And the question asks, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué vas de compras con tu mamá y tu hermana? ¿Por qué? So, Michaelia, muy bien, Michaelia Shea. We just want to change that. So, yo boy, the compras. Con mi mamá. All right. Deborah Dinal says, Yo compre con mis hermanos. Okay. But you want to say, Yo boy de compras con mis hermanos. Because the question is asking, Con quien vas de compras? So, it's literally asking, Who do you normally go shopping with? Muy bien. I love your participation. Keep participating and keep share it with somebody else who you think might need it. Boy, the compras con mis padres. Muy bien, Queen B. So, share it with somebody else who you think might um, need this. Alright. ¿Y por qué? ¿Por qué? Nobody told me por qué. So, I heard all the re who you go with. Some people go with mamá, some hermanos, some padres, but. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Dime, dime, dime. Dígame. Why, why, why? Why do you go shopping with these persons? And please don't tell me por qué es interesante. I'm waiting on the next answer, the answer to go to the next question. Digan me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Go ahead. Let me know. Hola. How are you, Shen? Hola, Ocean. Vamos. Okay, boy de compras con mis amigos porque ellos tienen mejor gusto en cosas. Muy bien, just bro. Porque ellos tienen mejor gusto que... You can say que mi mamá o que mis padres. Mi madre, porque ella siempre me compra las cosas muy caro. So you left out the R, Chris and Hutchinson. In compra, you have compa. But it's... Okay, so just correct that and that. Uh, okay, hey, muy bien. Oh, gracias, Christian. I see the correction. Y voy a compras con mi mamá porque recibe descuentas. Ok, ella recibe descuentas. Voy a compras con mis amigas porque es fácil y cómodo. Um, it's easier and comfortable. Um, you could say porque es más... Yes, I was just about to say that. Porque es más divertido. Uh, easy and comfortable I would prefer more exciting or something because in this case the comfortable I prefer if you use um, exciting or if you don't want to use less stressing but that comfortable in this case is not the one I would use. Okay, seguimos. Ahorras dinero? Ahorras dinero? 
Quem vai contestar? Who is gonna answer? Quem vai contestar? Okay, I see we have 13 persons. 13 personas. I wonder if we could get to 30 persons. Okay, seguimos. Who is going to answer? Quem va a contestar? Quem va a contestar? The verb is ahorrar. So it says, ahorras dinero? It's asking, do you, do you save money? Let me show you the question. Let me see if I can show you. Can you see it? Hold on. Uh, it's right there. Si, sí, ahorro dinero. Muy bien. Para qué? Just brown, muy bien. Para qué? And remember, there's a difference between para qué and por qué. Por qué is why. Por qué is why. Because we know that the other por qué, regular por qué with no intonation, like we're not going up or going down, it means because. So you have por qué, which means because, and we have por qué, which is why. But in this case now, we're looking at para que. Para que literally means for what. For what reason, for what. Para que comprar cosas que yo necesito. Okay, so you don't have to say para que. You can just say para comprar cosas que necesito. Muy bien. So take out the que and just say para comprar cosas que yo necesito. Buenas tardes, how are you Why? Because. Muy bien. But in this case, para qué is why. The question was, ahorras dinero, para qué? So some person said, sí, y para comprar cosas que necesito. Ahorro dinero para comprar una, un, un teléfono or un celular. So change uno, change una that you have there. So un teléfono or un celular. O una computadora. Buenas tardes, Michelle Royalty. I see Samoya Mori. Buenas tardes, Michaela Shea. Hola, hola, Heart on White. Hola, Just Brown, Queen B. Uh, Amelia Jordan. Hola, Liana Jones. Hola, Christian Hutchinson. Hola, Michaela Shea. Resh Fish. Lil H. Hola. Y quien más? Uh, Rakish Robinson. Hola. Let's see if I'm missing anybody. Okay. Muy bien. Si, sí, ahorrar dinero para comprar cosas. Para. Or we can even say para comprar regalos. Okay. Who is going to answer this one? Describe un día típico de compras con tu familia o tus amigos. And this PowerPoint, we did shopping in the last webinar. So for those who came on, um, you would have seen that. Miss, are we getting home and family and sports and recreation? Well, yes, there are six topics that the questions are taken from. So, it can be, you'll get from, some from each one of them. At least four topics. We don't know, there are six. So, you'll get four from four. So, that's why we have 16 questions in the conversation. Home and family, we have travel, we have sports and recreation, school and career. So, yes. Okay. 
And I didn't hear, I didn't see any answers. Describe un día típico de compras con tu familia o tus amigos. First, it's asking us to give a description. If you're not on my Instagram page, please go ahead and follow me too on Instagram because I post there sometimes. Um, things like this. And on Facebook, still Espanol in Jamaica. Uh, even though some of my students told me that Facebook is, is, no, is not a thing anymore, it's Instagram. But I'm still on both. So, if you are on Facebook or Instagram, or both, you can follow me, Espanol in Jamaica. Espanol in Jamaica. Okay, so, who is going to give me the answer? Okay, muy bien. Normalmente compramos la comida. Okay, but this one would need a little more lichel because it's it's saying describe a typical day. Um, so we want a little more. So normalmente compramos comida where? Compramos comida in un restaurante chino que se llama Sakura or compramos comida y después vamos a la playa. So first we buy food, después vamos a la playa, we go to the beach. Y luego, and after, we might do something else. Vamos al cine, or vamos a bailar, or something. But it's a typical day, so it can't be just one thing. You want to give us a little more meat on the board. But good job, muy bien. Thank you all for participating. Thank you all for trying. And just keep it up. Never ever get to the point where you are afraid to try. You, you are only a coward when you don't try, just so you know. So the, if somebody's sitting down and say, oh, but she didn't get the answer correct, but at least she tried, or he tried. So never give up on yourself, and the only person that can stop you is you, okay? Okay, all right, let me find another um, paper. Hold on. All right. Let me do some from daily routine. But um, I want, I, I didn't see anybody with the complete answer, but I just said some. So we're going to go to daily routine. ¿Qué responsabilidades tienes en casa? ¿Qué responsabilidades tienes en casa? Go ahead and let me know. Go ahead. Quien va a contestar? Who is going to answer? ¿Qué responsabilidades tienes en casa? Ahora tenemos 22. Yes, we have 22 persons. ¿Quién va a contestar? Responsabilidades. So it's asking you, what do you have to do at home? So, you can say, tengo que, tengo que lavar los platos, tengo que limpiar el baño. And responsibilities, so you want to give at least two. Yo tengo que lavar los platos, so tengo que lavar los platos y limpiar el baño. Or yo tengo que sacar la basura, I have to take out the garbage. So just think about what the question is asking. And again, as I've said in numerous presentations, and I've said to my students, and I've said to you if I've met you somewhere, the CXC oral examination is not, I repeat, and it's not a lie detector test. So, even if that's not what you do at home, even if at home you just sit down and watch TV, the thing is asking you for two or more, so responsibilities or what do you have to do at home. Please, pick two things and don't say, no, no hago nada en casa. It would be nice if you find at least two activities because what it, it is doing or what the aim of the exam is to see what you know. Alright, so 
Next, next one. ¿A qué hora te acuestas los fines de semana? Let me see your answers. Where are the answers? ¿Dónde están? Everybody is sleeping. Todo el mundo está durmiendo. I'm going to ask the question once more. Should I take it that, that I should finish the live now? Because I'm not seeing any answers. Not seeing any answers. ¿A qué hora te acuestas los fines de semana? Okay, a possible answer would be Me acuesto a And the time. So me acuesto a las 10 de la noche Me acuesto a las 10 y media so it's up to you. Choose a time. Los fines de semana. So me acuesto. You can say los fines de semana. Me acuesto a las 10. Or me acuesto a las 10. Los fines de semana. So next one. Let me give you one from sports and recreation. ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? Respuestas, por favor. And I do have a daily routine video here too. So you can check it out. It, I tell you, I don't have the time on it, but I say what I do. I get up, me levanto, me baño, cepillo los dientes. So, me baño. No, first I tell you, me levanto, me baño, me cepillo los dientes. And I tell you things like navego la red. You can check it out. But, um, I want to see your answers now, por favor. Oh, you have to do your part so I can know where you're at. So if I'm not seeing any answers, I'm going to think I'm the only one here. Is it that I'm not seeing the... the oh, I just me, I wasn't seeing your answers. Oh, I'm sorry, lo siento. I... Oh, lo siento. Look at all these amazing answers and I, wo I wasn't seeing them. Ay. Look at this. Oh, Dios mío, que está en el cielo. I'm speaking so fast. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best. I'm going to go from Jay Dwyer. I didn't see those answers. Jay says, Usualmente un día cuando mi familia y yo vamos al supermercado para comprar muchas cosas como las galletas Como las galletas, las cervezas y los pollos para cocinar. Ok, so, you can just say, usualmente vamos, mi familia y yo, vamos al supermercado, and you say, you can say, yes, para comprar muchas cosas. Muy bien. Resh Richard said, normalmente mi familia desper despertamos. Remember, um... We, you don't say despertamos, despertamos, because that remains the same. I'll despertamos de la mañana. Give me a time. Y vamos de compras en el supermercado. Remember, it's el supermercado. Los sábados, mis amigos y yo compramos vestidos en el centro comercial 
para dos horas y después vamos al cine. So take out the ear because you're seeing what they normally do. So después vamos al cine. So normally we go to the movies. If you otherwise, if you say vamos a ir al cine, you're saying we will go to the movies. And that's not what you want to say. Okay. Normalmente me levanto a las seis para ver el amanecer con mi familia. Preparo un desayuno para mi familia. Normalmente a las once tengo hambre, así como neuses. Oh, sorry. Como neuses. Me baño y voy a la playa con mi familia. Okay. Nice answer, but remember the question asks un día típico um, when you go shopping. So you have to tell us what you do when you go shopping. Okay, limpio mi dormitorio y lavar los platos. Okay, those are your responsibilities. So you can either say, tengo que limpiar mi, mi... Yes, in this case, you have to decide. You can't say limpio mi dormitorio y lavar los platos. You Because you are saying, I clean my bedroom. And then you say, to wash the dishes. Remember, we have to conjugate the verb. If you're gonna use it in the present tense, if you're gonna use tener plus que, where you're saying I have to do something, then you can say tengo que limpiar and leave the verb in the infinitive, mi dormitorio y lavar los platos. Muy bien. Tengo que fregar los platos y barrer la casa. Muy bien, J. Dwyer. Uh, yo lavo los platos y saco la basura. Basura. So take out that A. Si, sí, necesito sacar la basura y lavar los platos. Fresh fish, good answer. I'd prefer if you use tengo que. I have to. Because this one say I need to take out the garbage. You want to say I have to. A la casa, tengo, en mi casa, not a la casa. En mi casa, tengo que barrer. We left out the que. Tengo que barrer la casa y lavar los platos. Muy bien. Buenas tardes a todos. Neral uh, Peterson. Hola. Liana Jones. Tengo que. Remember after tengo que we leave the verb in the infinitive. So tengo que cocinar. I see cocino. So we want to change that. Don't worry. We're just working on what we need to do to get better. So I don't want anybody to feel nervous. Keep giving me your answers and um, we're going to get better. Tengo que cocinar la comida y lavar los platos. Not lavo. If we use tengo que, we will not conjugate the verb that follows. We mustn't, we shouldn't. Okay. Mis responsabilidades en mi casa es lavar. We can't say lavo. There. Okay, alright. Queen B. Tengo que lavar los platos y limpiar la casa. Muy bien, Queen B. Uh, quito el polvo y cuido, mi, cuido a, a mis hermanitos cuando mis padres... Están en el trabajo. So change son and put están en el trabajo. That's Christian, Christian Hutchinson. Michelle, los fines de semana me acuesto. Remember, that's a reflexive verb. Me acuesto a las dos. Mm, a las dos de la mañana. Tan tardísima. Okay. So we want to remember the reflexive verbs. Again, go and look at the daily routine video. It's not long. I don't think it's even four minutes. I think it's probably three minutes. And it has actions there. Los fines de semana me acuesto a las diez de la noche. Muy bien. Is that Samaya Mori? Muy bien. Just Brown. Me acuesto a las once de la noche porque no tengo que ir a la escuela el día siguiente. El día siguiente. Not al día. Muy bien. Um, Liana, los fines de semana duermo a las mm -hmm. 10 de la noche. Muy bien. Um, normal, remember we left out the, um, I, the, right here I'm not seeing me acuesto, I'm just seeing acuesto. So remember to add it, it's a reflexive verb. Mm, los fines de semana acuesto, I'm seeing it more than once. So remember it's me acuesto a las 7 de la noche. No me acuesto. Really, Sakib? You're not sleeping at all on the weekend? Mm -mm, you have to get some sleep. So, me he said, um, the person says, 
No me acuesto en los fines de semana. We don't need N. Because when we're saying on the weekends, we don't need N. Los fines de semana already means on the weekend. Or just our weekends. But no N. And you don't, even when you're saying on Mondays, you don't say N lunes. You say El lunes, if it's one Monday. Or Los lunes, if it's more than one. So on Mondays, I have to go to school. Um, los lunes, tengo que ir a la escuela. One Monday, el lunes, but never end. Okay, me acuesto a las seis para estudiar o ir a la escuela. Muy bien. Generalmente, los fines de semana me acuesto a las once de la noche. Muy bien. Los fines de semana, yo me acuesto a las diez de la noche, Queen B. So you left out the a las. Um... Lichel Royalty en mi tiempo libre juego gemo juego you could say juego but which question was mi tiempo libre oh que haces en tu tiempo libre lo siento I asked that time right? leo los libros uh, yo miro la televisión y charlo con mis amigos o mi novia muy bien En mi tiempo libre practico el baloncesto muy bien. And again, I have a video here speaking about sports. Uh, it's, it's quien es tu deportista favorito. So you can talk about your favorite sports person. Okay, en mis ratos libres me gusta cantar y bailar con mis amigos. Yo también, J. Dwyer. Me gusta cantar, aunque no puedo cantar bien. No canto bien. <laughs> I don't still well, sing well, but that doesn't stop me from singing. Um, yo siempre estoy ocupado, así que no tengo el tiempo libre. No, Cruzan, we have to find some time. But, okay, gracias, I understand. Miss, we are answering. I just saw that. Isn't, see, she's seen her answers. En mi tiempo libre, yo miro, remember, yo, in the present tense, unless it's irregular, it's usually when you're talking about I, the verb ends with O. In the present tense, unless it's irregular, I, I will come and beat your queen bee. She's my student. That student. That's why I'm saying that. Um, en mi tiempo libre, yo miro la televisión y juego. So not huga. Um, I still love you, and I would never, ever, ever, ever beat you at all. Un chiste, just a joke. Okay, en mi tiempo libre. I see Limbre, I see somebody with Limbre, Queen Trissy, Libre, en mi tiempo libre, Leo, uh, miro la televisión, escucho, because you, yeah, you left it in the infinitive, in this case, you want to say, I read, I listen, so to listen to the music, you can't just leave it in the infinitive, you have to say, escucho la música, y, char y charlo con mis amigos, y navego la red. So, conjugate the verbs for me, please. Um, Deborah, how many conversation questions are we getting? Um, you are getting 16 conversational questions. So, four from... There, there are six topics, but you will get four from four topics. En mi tiempo libre, yo navego el internet. Muy bien. Good job. You guys are doing so well, and I'm so sorry I wasn't seeing your answers. I thought you had left me here all by myself. All right, so, seguimos. I'm going to ask one more question, and then that will be it for today. You, will, you can think of any questions you might have for me before I leave. I'm going to ask one more question. Okay, en mi tiempo libre, yo miro la televisión y escucho música. Muy bien. All right. Describe un parque de atracciones que has visitado. De nuevo, describe un parque de atracciones que has visitado. That's my final question. You're going to give me your answers and then you can put your questions that you might have in the comment section below. And let me know if you want me to do another live like this. Let me know. So, let me see, because I don't want you to be answering and I'm not seeing your, your answers. Okay, un segundito.
Okay. Las respuestas. Who is going to answer? Describe un parque de atracciones que has visitado. What is that asking you to do? It's asking you to describe something. You can tell me what it's this asking you to describe. And give me your answers, por favor. I know you're writing, so I'm going to give you a little time. Unos momentos. See a park. So describe an attraction, or like a park, and um, that you have visited. So put that. Put your answers in the comment section. Everybody, describe a park that you have visited. Oh, by the way, just so you know, the examiner won't be translating. He visited the park of cool runnings. El parque fue muy interesante porque el parque tiene muchas cosas. Okay, gracias, J. Duar. I'd prefer if you use words like divertido o fue una experiencia emocionante or inolvidable because interesante is used so much. Not saying that you can't use it, but if you don't have to, don't use it. And we don't want to say the park was interesting. We want to give a little more. And it's a description. So, fue grande. It was it big? Was it small? Did it have una piscina? Tenía una piscina? Yes. So, but very good job. Muy bien. Let me know. Put the dates that you have exams below. Let me know what you're most nervous about or what challenges you're having so that when i'm doing the next live i can take that into consideration but also remember there there are some webinars coming up i think the next one is tuesday it's usually at 5 30. i will give you the link um also um usually you have a google form to fill out now if you fill out that google form then you will receive the PowerPoint. This is put on by the Ministry of Education. I did a presentation last Thursday, I think, and I'm doing another one on Thursday too. La experiencia fue maravillosa. See, tomorrow. No, don't worry, don't cry. I see Sakib saying I have an exam tomorrow and crying. No, don't cry. Don't worry about it. You've been preparing. Just continue working and bear things in mind. Just remember your tenses. So if you're talking about something in the present tense, remember the present tense. I have a video for that also. I have a video for everything that you might need right now, I think. Um, so, not I think, I know. So there's something for everybody. So we talk about how to conjugate the present tense. How to conjugate the past tense. Both past tense, perfect and imperfect. How to speak about the future tense. How to say what you're doing right now in the moment, which is the present continuous tense. And um, usually I teach them in context. This one, I gave it to you like on a play. I wrote it, I, I wrote it on the board and I put the endings and all of that. So I want you to bear that in mind. So make sure that you take into consideration your tenses. What are you talking about? Who is the subject of the sentence? Now, if it's I, then make sure you're using endings that are related to I, yourself. But if you're talking about he or she, do not use the endings that relate to you. Go to the part that says he or she. And if you're talking about we, so if it asks you about your family, and you're going to say, mi familia y yo, that's usually we. Go to the part that speaks about we. Alright, so you need to bear that in mind. So you need the tense. You need to know who is the subject of the sentence and what it's asking. Is it asking for a description? Is it asking to tell a place? Whatever it is, um, you do it. Oh, Reshfish. Which country are you in, Reshfish? Because ours here in Jamaica is from July 1st to 15th. Okay. So let's see. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow. I have a few people with 
with their life with their exam tomorrow un parque de atracción que ha visitado fue ok que he visitado fue muy bella so very pretty y grande so you don't say y grande y so you can list them and then the last one right before the last one you say y fue muy bonita or bella but it y fue muy divertido Mine is Tuesday. Buena suerte for everybody who is here. Miss, can you do some more of these lives, please? Sure, 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 sure. Um, visto al, visito al parque de Queens porque es muy tranquilo y pequeño. Puedo estudiar en el parque porque es cómodo. Muy bien. You first, okay. la, not la parque, el parque. It's muy grande. Okay, but you have you visited it, so it fue muy grande y atractivo. Uh, visité Don's River Fall, Falls, <laughs> um, las cascadas de Don's River. Es una cascada muy bien. También hay una playa. Venden mucha comida deliciosa. Venden el pollo jerk y el pescado frito. Muy bien. We are parque in Nuevo York. Why is this parque looking like this Queen B? Q U E in Nueva Jersey. You can just say New Jersey is fue in the past and divertido y grande. It tiene más más jóvenes or muchas muchos a lot of. This is saying it has more young people. You want to say it has a lot. Miss I have orals on Wednesdays. Wednesday, buena suerte, you're gonna do well, you are gonna do well. How can I help you? I see your question, can you help me? Sure, how can I help you? Trinidad. Trinidad! Yo tengo una, más que una amiga, I have friends there. Senorita Martinez and some other friends there. Muchísimas gracias, Senorita, pero tengo que irme ahora. Okay, J. Duarte. I'm going to go shortly too, but it was a pleasure having you. Thank you for your time. Muchísimas gracias. And all the best. Fui al Parque Hope Gardens. Fue muy... So remember, the subject is part of the park. So it's going to be bonito y tranquilo. Fue una experiencia... Una experiencia inolvidable. So just change that to una experiencia, not un experiencia. Miss, what is your Instagram? Espanol in Jamaica. Ne the next live, I should be able to do it on my phone because I'm trying to put a comment in here and it's not allowing me. So it's Espanol and then underscore N and then underscore Jamaica. But I think also if you write in my name on YouTube, you should find it. So, all right, muchísimas gracias. Let me know your concerns. Um, before I go, okay, you're my boy in one minute. We're at 58 minutes. I'm not sure if they give you more than an hour, and I would love to see this live. So, muchísimas, muchísimas gracias. So, remember, the only person that can stop you is you. You have been preparing for this. The examiner is a teacher from another school. And our aim is not for you to fail. We want you to pass. Um, so have yourself a wonderful day. Tengan ustedes un buen buen día. Thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to join. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel and share it. I'm hoping we can get to 2,000 um, subscribers. We're at 1,300. But I love all 1300 of you um, and you're a part of Hibbert Nation so remember to turn on your notifi notification but have a wonderful day tengan ustedes un buen 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 día all the best you got this <laughs> yes that's me cheering you on tomorrow whenever you feel or whichever day and you say oh I can't do it just hear me in your head say go you got this you have this you have this so I will, I'm seeing your answers. I'm going to try to save the live. I'm going to read through the last sets of comments and have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao, ciao.